Porque sí, 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 Back in the early days, February, uh, <laughs> where I was a young, shy, retiring person. Who, and, and still retiring. Well, I am retiring <laughs> in, in about two months. <laughs> anyway, but that's another story, mate. It's been a big year. Yeah, it has been. Have you enjoyed yourself? I have enjoyed myself. It has been a very, very good year. Guys, just as a, can everybody hear us okay out there? Just say yes or no in the, in the, in the comments, please, in the, uh, in the live chat. Uh, hi boys, morning, yes. <laughs> I'm trying to see if anyone can see us. <laughs> can you hear us out there? Yes, thank you. Very thank you. good, excellent. Excellent, that's good to know. So, mate, first things first, we've got to kick off as we always do. Yes. And let our viewers know that uh, well, this is being brought to us by uh, our friends at Research and Streams and at Pog Lights. Yes. And of course, it wouldn't be our final show for the year if we didn't have the boys on. So a little bit later on, we'll be talking to Nate from Hot Lights and we'll be talking to Aaron from Resurgent Sheen. So if you've got any questions, make sure you stick them in the uh, in the chat. And, uh, and and we can always do things like now. Well, where is this? If I go over here, mate, I can do this. Watch this. Yep. How cool is that? Oh, the, Aquaman. Yeah. Aquaman. All yeah. loud and clear. <laughs> 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 we can do all sorts of things. And uh, Bernie saying yes, so that's all good. So, mate, the topic of conversation. Oh, before we go any further, yes. Now we've had for the last few weeks going the silent auction or the not so silent auction of the pair of resurgence jeans. Yes. Now that is currently sitting at for a three hundred dollar or three hundred twenty dollar pair of jeans at four hundred and twenty dollars. That, which is absolutely amazing for, uh, and every set of that will be going to bikers for bikers down. So that's absolutely fantastic. Now the uh, the person who's made that uh, that four hundred and fifty dollars uh, yeah. bid is wanting to remain anonymous at this stage. Okay, and we can help him remain anonymous because if you want to put in a bigger bid, <laughs> do you want to put in a bigger bid? Hey, okay. do it in the live chat. But you've only got until eight thirty. So at this stage, the biggest bid, bid, bid is $450, which is outstanding, quite frankly. And we'd like to thank, again, Aaron from Resurgence Jeans who helped us out with that one. So uh, all good, mate. Now, our main topic of this evening, yes. why ride? Uh, well, well, why why did we, as young people, young men, young virile fellows, Pick up a throttle and a uh, bike and go riding. Do you want me to answer first? Yeah, I want you to ask. Tell me why did you start riding? So, the, my earliest uh, my earliest memories of growing up was talking to my granddad. Now, my granddad uh, back in the thirties, thirties, uh, uh, like, early to late thirties, eighteen thirties. Yeah, no, he basically he rode pretty much uh, uh, right. Well, from the middle up. Down right, right around the east coast um, on uh, the, well, they would have been English bikes back then. I think he had a uh, yeah, a Valis a Valis set. set, yeah, the was. Gosh. And uh, they went like right through the outback and all that sort of stuff. And I just remember talking to him about that sort of stuff. Uh, and I would be bright eyed, you know, listening to his stories of where he went and how they survived, and you know. There was no uh, fuel stations back then. There was no made roads. There was no uh, no nothing and no suspension. By the way, it was a sprung seat. Um, and uh, oh, I don't know. It was, it, was, uh, it was just it was just awesome to listen to, you know. And um, it just uh, from my earliest yeah, the, the, they're my earliest memories. And ever since then, all I could dream about was having a motorbike. So um, when, my my that to an extra. Yeah, yeah, well, I have. Yeah. My mum and dad uh, were dead set against me having a motorbike. Um, they they actually threatened to put an axe through the motorbike if I bought a motorbike home. So for the first, I don't know, few years, there was a motorbike. I think I got my first one about 13. I saved up money and bought a crappy little Yamaha thingy. 
And uh, he used to let it be mate's place, and we used to go there and ride the living Christ out of it. How many people did that, though? Got a bike and then hit it at their mate's house? And the question you've got to ask yourself there, I guess, is what's the game with the parents of your mate who allowed you to do yeah. that? Well, they were empty, so they didn't give much time they were at work, so it was just like, no, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then it just, you know, it just progressed uh, to, to uh, you know, road work. Like, obviously, everybody rides dirt bikes first, and I rode yeah. dirt bikes and all that sort of stuff, and then it progressed to road bikes. And uh, uh, I've just always, you know, my, 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 some of my earliest, I still remember these, I, I had dreams when I was a kid of, of, that I had a motorbike. And I'd wake up in the morning and be all excited about going out and, see, and, and seeing it. And, oh, I was a bit concerned. It was like, you didn't make an oil leash. No, no. <laughs> and, and go out and then I, I didn't have one. And I'd be spewing for the rest of the day. So they're my, they're my earliest. And, and to be honest, even to this day, I still, you know, get excited about riding the next day. And uh, it's just, to me, it's just a, a just a, for me, it's, it's now a, a way of life, I suppose. I just, I just love it. Yeah. Well, my tale is somewhat similar, mate, but mine, mine comes from my father. You know, I mean, I just remember growing up as a kid, Dad, just having all these stories about the bikes he used to have in the UK, you know, uh, BSA Bantams, uh, Aerial Square Fours, Fell Sets. I mean, he, he, he had so many. Yet when we, he immigrated over here, he, he really didn't have anyone until one of his mates brought around a Honda 754 one day. Yep. And uh, Dad said, of uh, of really bigger bikes than that. So he, he went on it and he said, I'm just going around the block. And he was gone like uh, an hour and a half. And I thought, he's really enjoying it. So, <laughs> what I didn't know is he dropped it when he went around the corner. <laughs> he, was, <laughs> he rang me, mate. He says, I can't go back. <laughs> so it was a lot bigger than it. I think he'd ridden, but he, he looked, he loved bikes. Uh, he got us into mini bikes at a very early age, and uh, that was it, mate. Once I first rode my first mini bike, which was called a rock hopper, and it was basically a little metal frame with little wheels about this big, yeah. and a lawnmower motor. And even you know, you pull started, start. still had the lawnmower throttle because we couldn't afford a, a, a full, you know, a proper throttle. And uh, I rode that from morning till night in the paddocks opposite until I ran out of petrol, and uh, mate. That was that was the start of it, and it was uh, it was only when I was about, geez, about nineteen that I uh, decided oh, I'll get a a bigger dirt bike, and I got a five hundred. Uh, and I remember being I was on learners, and uh, one day I'm riding around the roads because as you do on a dirt bike, uh, but it was an XL five hundred, so it was road registered. Uh, unfortunately, I was supposed to be on a two fifty because I was a learner. Yes, and the local constabulary pulled me over, and I went hmm. I know I'm going to get a ticket for not wearing me L plate, but I'm really in shit up shit creek if he finds out I'm on a 500. So I just stayed on the bike, and every time he walked around it, I'd pick the opposite left and cover the 500 sticker, and he never worked it out. <laughs> so I got a so I got a blister for uh, no L plate or no L plate on the back, but I uh, I survived to ride another day. So that was that's that's me, mate. And uh, what we'll do tonight is we've got a few guests coming on board. And that's when we want to uh, have a chat with them about what got, what got them into it, because I think everybody's got a, a similar but different story. Yep. So uh, that's brilliant, mate. Now, where were we? Yeah. We are. I've got to have a look at these, mate. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we spoke to Sherry from Bikers for Bikers Down. Yep. And that's where this auction of the jeans came from, mate. And uh, what I wanted to do, we, we, we ran out of time the other week, but I want to show you what the proceeds are going to purchase. So she sent me one of them down, and this is one of the volunteer packs that goes to the volunteers that, that give up their time for bikers for bikers down. That costs about $15 each. Yep. And, of course, Sherry and her husband are doing this out of the goodness of their heart, this whole thing. It's not a charity. It's a volunteer organisation. So what they actually give to... Um, or, or what normally costs about fifteen dollars is this lot. So what they get is a heap of cards yep. to hand out to people, and they can put their details on there. They get a, a number of stickers. They get a couple of patches to put on their jackets to show that they're actually good bikers for bikers down. Uh, they get some crash cards, yep. and they get a couple of big stickers for the car. Right. So look. It's not a lot, but it, it, it identifies who 
the volunteers are yep. and shows us that. So what we are hoping to do with this is, as I said, every cent that we make from this from the uh, you know, the auction of these jeans, four hundred and fifty dollars. I don't know what's that. It's like by fifteen, fifteen times fifteen. <laughs> So that, 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 that's enough to keep them going for a while. Anyway. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, as I said, eight thirty. If no one else has bid, that will be the uh, the top bid, and uh, we'll bring Sherry on, and we'll let her know we've got her lined up to come on. Now the the beauty of this is too. But we, we asked, yeah, you know, can we donate? They don't want money. No. Um, so we thought, okay, well, how can we help you? And, and that's these biker packs is, is, is how we can help them because rather than uh, they're running out of them, yeah, uh, having to buy their own, having to buy their own. So this will get them about thirty packs, um, which is, you know, hopefully that's a year's worth or a bit more, maybe. I, I guess when we get uh, Sherry um, on a bit later, she'll be able to tell us if maybe they'll get it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can we just say from the bottom of our heart, we thank all you flogs out there for for, for bidding. Uh, and getting up to what it is at the moment, which is four hundred fifty bucks. Yeah, blew, blew, was a, blew me away, mate. I was expecting, you know, someone someone might pick up a good brown pair of jeans for two hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. Uh, it was, uh, it was so, so. Hopefully, you know, we hopefully it makes a difference. Um, and you know, again, we thank uh, Aaron for resurgence. He'll come on a little bit later as well, and uh, uh, for for making that possible. And um, Again, thank you to all you blokes out there that have, that have, yeah. that have made a bid. We really, really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. And and as I said, especially those that bid more than one, the jeans are uh, retail. Yep. Which is, uh, it just shows that the bikers helping bikers is a thing. Yeah. So, which is fantastic. Yeah. So what, what they do, in case you haven't heard in the previous, what they do is they'll send out, like, you know, if somebody's had a, a motorcycle accident, they'll send out a couple of volunteers to, you know, mow their lawn or do the dishes or cook them a meal or, Something that that uh, you know, if you've yeah. as Elaine and I experience when when the when the shit hits the fan like that, uh, stuff that you're normally used to doing, um, all of a sudden you've got to rely on family and stuff like that. And the problem is, you know, family's got their own lives. So um, what the what these volunteers do is a fantastic thing. Yeah, mate. Look, I can't begin to say how much uh, respect I had for someone like Sherry and her husband because to me. They took what happened to them and they said, well, it was crap for us. It's going to be crap for other people. Let us try and make it a little yep. easier for them. Yep. And uh, absolutely. Can you stop putting your hand on my sheet? I can't read it. Well, do it. It's, 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 it's unbelievable. Uh, it's a, I'm, so it I'm fly fly. Fly. <laughs> So it doesn't fly off. I've got it. You I've would have thought he wasn't really close enough. enough to put a friggin' weight on there, would you? Oh. Jesus Christ. Can, somebody can you put your hand on that for me? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> all right. Now, next item on the agenda. Yes. Now, as you all know. Christmas. No, that's, that's, that's bloody miles away, mate. The fat bloke isn't even in the sleigh yet. Like I'm in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> so, look, when we started this back in February, we thought, you know what, we're going to do this thing for Victorian bikers and, and hopefully some of the other people in Australia or maybe around the world might be interested. But uh, the response we've had to Holds of Holds and Saucy Flogs, mate, is uh, it's blown us away, absolutely blown us away. And it's not it's not the amount of people following it. It's, it's not that when someone comes up and say, oh, you guys are from work. It, it's just the community that it has built has been absolutely outstanding. Um, yeah. well, the, the biggest thing for me was what, that, that really rammed at home was last weekend we went to the Bigglers. Oh, and we had about oh, 30 people come along. Yeah, I think, it was like 27, 28, something yeah. like that all up. And it was just uh, just a fantastic weekend, an absolutely fantastic weekend. And it's not just the people that came on that, but it's the people that get online on the Facebook page and chat with us or send us personal messages. Uh, you know, it's, it's just been absolutely outstanding. And I, and I think everybody was waiting for a show similar to this. There was, you know, we used to have HDTV. We used to have lots of, you know, a couple of different bike shows, but there's just nothing out there at the moment. And we just hope that we're, we're filling some, you know, filling some of the uh, void that's there. And, and again, our sponsors, especially uh, from Hog Lights and Resurgence Jeans, they haven't just come on board in in a little way. I mean, they're on the phone to us all the time, and they're always saying, well, "What can we do to make you know both the show and uh, provide better things?" And, and like I was talking to Aaron today about our next um, 
charity thing we're going to do. And he, he's on board for yeah, well, it. It wasn't even a question, Mark. It wasn't even a question. He, he was on board before I even finished with the bloody like sentence, which was fantastic. So what we want to do is we want to extend this and we want to make it a truly national show. It is true. So we've said there's a few surprises coming up tonight. Mark. Sorry, can I just bang them? I just bang them. Mark, Mark Savini. Where's Mark? Yeah, Granddad rode a horse, Dad rode a pushy, natural progression, me on a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Outstanding, Mark. Love it. That's, that's the evolution of his best. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That's a good one. That's good one. So what we've decided to do, and, and, and we, we, we fought long and hard about this, and we've decided to, to make it truly national by bringing on some, some more... Flogs. Yes. Yes, it's the two Aussie flogs, but the two Aussie flog army is getting bigger. And uh, the first person we're going to bring on board, you've already all met, uh, Leanne Potts from Kazomoto, yep. who was on last month talking about New South Wales uh, Motorcycle Safety Month. Yep. We're bringing her on board as a New South Wales rep. So Leanne's, let, let's bring her on. Hi, Leanne. Hi, everyone. Hi, guys. How are you going? It's great. Thanks, Leanne. How are you going? Fantastic. So tell us what you're going to do to, for us from New South Wales, Leanne, and, and introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so um, as Whitey and Paul said, I'm Leanne Potts. I'm one half of Casamoto. My husband, Potsy, is the other half. Um, he's the rider. Uh, I am the pillion on the back of the bike, filming and uh, literally taking control of, of the reins, I, I guess, in some sort of a way. Um, so I'm coming on board with these guys to present you with some New South Wales events of what's what will be happening per month in New South Wales. So um, during the course of the year, I'll be building up a bit of a um, spreadsheet and information about different events that will be happening. I'll be bringing those events to you um, every month and, and not, not doing a review on them, but basically letting you um, be aware of what's coming up, what date they'll be on, how to get some more details, if you need more details um, on each particular event. So hopefully um, as time progresses, we'll be building on those events. Um, if you do have any event that you would like to have put on as and promoting, um, via this facility, please um, reach out to me for New South Wales um, to casamoto one at hotmail.com. Uh, just let me know about the event and if I can get in contact with someone to get some more information. And I'll be sharing um, once a month with these guys all the New South Wales events. Absolutely awesome stuff. It's going to be brilliant. And uh, the reason, and we've got a couple of people to introduce tonight, guys. And the reason being is not only because we want to extend them, but we've we've spoken to these people and we've we've looked at their work, and we've looked at Leanne and Potsy's work over the last twelve months. And uh, look, you're producing a really good show. If you're uh, if you're interested, guys, go over and have a look. And I'll put the link in the show notes after uh, we upload this uh, podcast. Not only that, mate, but they're clearly intelligent people. Well, hundred percent. They've just gone and bought a road bike. Well, <laughs> they, 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 they off that Dush and yeah, uh, the, the, BMW yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that was that was a midlife crisis, wasn't it? Really? <laughs> no, just tell Potsy that was a midlife crisis, and we'll, we we will get Potsy on at some stage. I know he's sitting there in the background laughing, but uh, I think he's. I've got to say, one of the things he said in the the video he did, and I think it came up last night or the night before I watched it. And he said, uh, if you're worried about wind on a street glide or a road glide, you get in the car. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, that's fair enough. Yeah. But if you're worried about wind, you probably shouldn't be on a bike. Leanne, thank you for coming on board. We're really looking forward to your first thing, uh, your first um, uh, contribution early next year. And uh, we will be talking to you well before then. So uh, thanks again for coming on board. I hope uh, everybody gives her a good uh, shout out. Go and have a look at their channel, and uh, we'll talk to you soon, Leanne. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful Christmas, everybody. See ya. You too. Thanks, Leanne. How was that? Yep. So, guys, so, so this is what 
you know, we started off uh, relatively small. We started off with, you know, obviously uh, predominantly Victoria because yeah. that's that's what we had the uh, the ability to uh, to catch in on. Um, but we, we seriously want to make this uh, a, a, a national show. Yeah. Um, aimed at you know all the Aussie bikers and Aussie biker events and all sort of stuff, and uh, and and we really want to have uh, you know as many people on board as possible. Um, so we're really trying to uh, to, to to spread the love. Um, Sorry, Eli's trying to be out of shot, and I'm just she's just had to be a bulldog clip, so Wider doesn't whinge anymore about his paperwork flying off the bench. Uh it's working beautifully here. Uh-huh. Um so yeah, so we're really, really trying to go uh a, a, as a national show. I think um I think it'll be great. Uh what happened there? This term. Are you struggle with paper clips on easily, Morris. Thank um, you, Elaine. Um, it'll it'll uh, it'll really uh, it'll really make for for more interesting viewing for for all the people um, you know in other states. Uh, so it's not so Victorian centric, and uh, you know we like we, we said from the start we want to make this a community. We want to, we want to make it a, a, an Australian wide community. Yeah. Um, and yeah, hopefully down the track, you know, we'll, we'll get out there and we'll, we'll do some more rides. We'll do some, you know, we'll go longer afield. We'll, you know, we'll try and head to New South Wales, Queensland, Tassie, all those places, uh, South Australia. Um, and you know, when we get over there, uh, we want to, uh, you know, be able to meet up with you guys when we get there, which I think yeah. would be fantastic. Yeah, so that's fantastic. Now, mate, as I said before, yes. it's been a huge year. Yes. Now, we started in uh, mid February. Yes. I remember we were sitting here, and I, I really wish we'd have kept it. I wish we had kept the original because Paul said to me, are you ready to go? <laughs> I didn't know what that meant at the time. I thought, okay, well, then I was hit with. G'day, everyone, we're Hogs, Hogs, and Two Aussie Fogs, the greatest podcast this side of my garage. I shit myself. <laughs> it was like a deer in the head. Like, oh, man. <laughs> And, and we, when we kicked off and we got going all right, mate, and, and in that time we've now done, this is our 23rd podcast for the year, every fortnight, every second Wednesday, 8 p.m., without a doubt, and uh, all I can say, mate, is that we have had an absolute ball, and I just thought what we do is we go over some of the, the ones. Now, obviously, the first one was, uh, it was a bit... <laughs> It, it was a learning process, especially for myself. I know you've been in the media before, but I hadn't. So uh, it was interesting. But the first thing that we did, and I remember we, we already said we're going to do, we're going to have this grumble. And the first grumble we had, we kept that grumble going the whole year, was about the pop holes. Well, it was low hanging fruit, my friend. It was. <laughs> it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard to keep it going. No. No, no. In fact, the Victorian government for keeping us uh, not just the supplied Victorian. with content. Not just the Victorian the government. Rest, yes, well, everywhere, mate. Although I do laugh at some of the states when, when some of the people go, oh, it's a terrible, and you go to the Tasmania. Uh, like, if anyone in Tasmania is complaining about your roads, just come for a quick visit. <laughs> about two hours of shoot off the oh, spirit of Tasmania should just do you straight to realise you'll go back and you'll just, you'll hug your bitumen. Right. Yeah, I, I, I reckon next year, because I know we've got the same problem in Queensland, but the same problem in New South Wales, New South Wales and, and South Australia. Look, yeah. And more than likely, that there are other problems uh, in the other states as well, I dare say. Um, uh, yeah, our, our fearless leaders out there are just doing a, such a, 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 an exemplary job at the moment that they've just pretty much bankrupted the whole of the country and yeah. uh, now they can't fix the roads. Um, we have been talking about doing a ride. I honestly think we should make it the Great Australian Pothole Ride. I think so. And uh, and we organise it Australia-wide. I mean, well, I actually wrote down a date, and I was thinking that, well, we don't come back until uh, January 24th or something. So we're, for those that don't know, we're going to take a six-week break, all right, because we've got a lot to do over Christmas. We've got lots of filming and lots of other stuff to do, and, we just think for the freshness of the show, we're going to take that break. But when we come back, I reckon about four weeks after that. So I'm thinking late February. Yep. I reckon we do that right on Parliament House. And we could call it the protester arseholes for potholes. We could call it that, or, or, or we could be res- we could look like we're being respectful and just take uh, a big freaking yellow canary and stick it on yeah <laughs> but so that's what we're looking at we've spoken about it before we've said it a number of times and what we're going to do 
is we are going to, uh, yeah, organise that march. So that's one of the things we'll be organising over Christmas. And, and, and you know what we're going to do, though, mate? We're going to do it the right way because Melbourne has become the protest capital of it. And I don't want to just be another arsehole protester that upsets the rest of the world. I don't want to go in there and upset, you know, Joe Citizen and no, no, no. Labor work. We're not going to do that. We're going to do it properly. We're going to do it respectfully. We're going to get the media there. Yep. And we're going to make the people that need to be inconvenienced be inconvenienced. Yes. Because we're going to embarrass the government with some luck. But we're going to need you to turn up on your bikes. Which, what was her name? Vicky? Was it Vicky? Oh, Vicky. Didn't we love Vicky? Did anyone send a, a <laughs> heartfelt message to Vicky on her Facebook? Because Vicky won't talk to me anymore. No, no. Apparently I'm a misogynist. Or something. We've been blocked. No, I hate it when that happens. <laughs> so if, uh, is everybody into a, a protest right about the state of the road in Australia? Uh, let, just chuck it in the comments because we'd love to have you along. We'd love to have you on board. And uh, let's put our money where our mouth is. Let's put our, our feet where our mouth are and, and, and march the bikes into, yeah. into Parliament. And uh, let's create a bit of uh, a bit of angst. Well, I think it'd be a good thing. Yes, I think so. So that's that. Let's let them know what we're about. That came from our very first uh, show, mate. And then uh, next after that, we talked about why bikers are crashing, and uh, really nothing's changed there, mate. Because although we're still getting hit, and I was, mate, I was coming here tonight, I seen a bloke really get cleaned up on his bike because of the you need to go. So let's go visit your nearest pothole and grab a chunk of stuff. There we go. And drop it off the pole. That's drop it off the pole. That's not a bad idea. I tell you what, if everybody can bring a big chunk of bloody... There'd be a bloody big friggin' pile. The a pile of it. Well, there's a pile already at Parliament. I don't you worry about that. Um, yeah, there's a big pile there. That's for sure. Oh, well. Anyway, so we then moved on and uh, one of my pet peeves. Yes. We spoke about the electric, electric yes. bikes and yes. cars. It's coming. No, it's not. No, it's not going to. The Harley Davidson. Hey, they were burned down before we you get enough of them. The electric blood. Do you see, uh, I was actually watching a show the other day from the States, and uh, uh, Uncle Joe, Uncle Joe, Joe Biden, Biden. yeah, they've given him billions of dollars, and it's been 18 months, and that was it. They're going to put electric stations all over, thousands of them all over America. You know how many have been built? Zero. Not one. <laughs> Not one. And when they asked the bloke running it, he said, oh, no, you've got to go slow to go fast. Yeah. Well, mate, they haven't put one in. They haven't got the, they haven't got the start line yet. Well, they haven't got enough diesel generators to power them. No, that's true. <laughs> so, so you know how much we hate them. Uh, then we uh, a couple more episodes after that, we had Amy yes. from uh, Old Not Dead. Yep. Shout out to Amy because we had an absolute great night with him. And uh, we all heard about how... Basically unhealthy, you and I. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we not a lot's changed. No. Uh, um, we then went up to a Rubber Glen Rumble, which was an absolutely outstanding event. And we're going back there next. When is it? Uh, April. April. So if any, uh, is it Easter weekend? No, no. Uh, uh, it's the sixth. We'll have a look. I think it's the sixth of yeah. April. We'll, 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 we'll look at the dates later. But if, if you're interested in coming up for the weekend with us, yep. we've uh, it, it's an absolutely outstanding event. Heaps of uh, they've got a truck show, a car show, a bike show, but the bike show is tattoo show. Yeah, outstanding tattoo show. Yep, I got ripped off last time, mate. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, guys, if, if you're interested in coming, we'll put some more details up about that. The, the Rutherglen Rumble. Um, mm -hmm. I'll just say this: we we organised a weekend for the, all you folks uh, for the Vicla one. It was we said before, oh, Apple and Edison. Yeah. So if you want to get on that sort of get in on that sort of mm -hmm. stuff, please uh, start looking at some accommodation now because it will fill fairly quickly up there. Uh, we've already booked ours, um, but that is the Rutherglen Rumble. I'm pretty sure it's sixth, seventh of April, somewhere in that time. Um, we'll put we'll put a, a, a flyer up on the on the on the Facebook page. You can have a look at that. But uh, I recommend you get along because it was an absolute ripper weekend last time, and uh, we'll organise a couple of rides and they yeah. get together. Yeah, mate, it's uh, absolutely outstanding. Now, the one after that was hilarious because I remember we were actually sitting in Bali together when. It, it went live, and yeah. that was our visit down to Geelong Harley to talk to um, Cole and um, Andrea? Andrea down at uh, Geelong Harley Davison. And uh, since then, we've, we've been down a number of times. Uh, Jesus, you think Cole's funny on, on screen? Right? <laughs> <laughs> and and the, the only thing I remember, the, the thing I remember most about that whole show, Mark, was the fact that 
Andrea was sitting there absolutely terrified <laughs> what Cole was going to say next. And he was a good boy. He didn't say anything too much. He was muzzled, though. He was. Oh, I don't know if you can muzzle Cole, mate. He's muzzled. I reckon we've got to get down there. They're, they're having a, a whole heap of improvements to the shop. Um, yeah, keep your eye out for that because I think they're doing a, they're, they're renovating the whole shop and the, uh, I think they're in the front of the shop. And I think the reopening is after the 3rd of January, yeah. I'm pretty sure. So I dare say they'll have something. We might have to get down there and have a look at that one. Yeah. Let's go down and have a look. I'd say, they'll, they'll, the... I'd say they'll have a, yeah. uh, a, a, a yeah. bit of an open day, guess. Now, the one after that was the one that, 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 that really, well, for me, really hit home, mate. Yep. And this was the uh, No Justice for Bikers in Australia, uh, the story of Jarman Swanabell and uh, how he was basically killed by a careless, useless moron of a driver. And to rub salt into the worms, well, he was charged, obviously, with uh, being a, you know, almost culpable driver. I think it was uh, reckless driving causing death. And uh, bugger me, he goes to court. And even though he cut double corners, it was the middle of you know, it was 10 o'clock in the morning, he cut double lines straight in front of him, giving him absolutely nowhere to go uh, and killing him outright. Apparently not guilty, mate. Apparently that's not enough. And, uh, you know, just I, I just want to give a shout out now to Chris and to his uh, wife, Faye. Um, they, Jeez, they didn't have a shit run, mate. I mean, they, 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 their poor, horrible runners continue. You know, she's just lost her oldest son, who was 30 years old, and her dad in a period of about four weeks, yeah. as well as having to have major spine surgery. So, uh, Faye, we're thinking about you, Dale. And Chris, mate, uh, you know, I, I still have a I just still can't. Understand it. I just don't understand a justice system that has no justice. Well, I'm about to tell you something that's going to make me hear cool, and I haven't even told him yet. So, one of the guys that works for me, Joe, uh, I was heading out to uh, I picked him up the other day because we had to get a chop a car off. Um, I actually bumped into JB uh, for, to Justin, and if he's watching Justin I, um and uh, anyway, I picked him up. We're going on Bellwood Road, and um. All of a sudden, he goes, see this, see this spot here? I said, yeah. He goes, that's where my son was killed two years ago. And I went, I didn't even, I actually didn't know what to say. I said, all right. I said, what happened? He said, well, so this is on Ballarat Road. So there's uh, three lanes going uh, one way and three lanes going the other. Mm -hmm. And there's like a, uh, a, a, a crossover in the middle. Yeah. The person's come through a crossover, done a U-turn straight in front of him, just collected him. Didn't even look. Yeah. Have a guess what the uh, what the outcome of that was. So that'd be a uh, foul giveaway at intersection. Two hundred forty five dollar fine. Yeah. Is it? yeah. Well, you see, that's more than what Jammin's guy got. Yeah. And to me, it's just, uh, it's just not fair. Mate. It's not you, you can't kill someone and get a ticket. It's no. just, however, and, and that is the rule. The offence in that case was he did a U turn without giving way. And it doesn't seem to bloody matter whether or not the person got a you know a scare. There was no one there, or you actually killed someone. And it just to me, it's just it's seems got to be more bloody something. Just, got, got, if you bloody kill someone, and, 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 and this whole I didn't see you business. Oh, no, that's, 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 that, I didn't see you as an admission of freaking guilt. Yeah, and, and and the thing that killed Joe the most, he was talking to me later on. He goes, the thing that killed me goes is that that. She didn't even say sorry. She goes, she, so we were face to face in the courtroom and she didn't. She, she didn't even have the balls to didn't say, say sorry. You know, he goes, he, he goes, that would have made it just that little bit better. So it's still happening. Um, you know, again, it's something else we're going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing next year. Yeah. Um, about getting, you know, more. Um, I keep saying it, we can't, we can't keep accepting that we are the redheaded stepchild of the motoring community. Yeah. Um, I was watching the the, 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 the Witters, uh, Witter, Witter, uh, if you haven't seen them, they are hilarious. Hey, if anybody knows them, for Christ's sake, can you, I've sent messages to them. We'd love to get them on the show. But I was watching their video before. They were stopped to get petrol in open face helmets yeah. and were told they couldn't fill up until they took their helmets off. I mean, well, you know, it's, what's uh, going how are you going to recognise someone who was, you know, not thinking about doing an armed robbery if you don't see the back of their head? Yes. Yeah, I mean, no doubt that 
Yeah. It's got nothing, you know, I mean, we've just gone through three years of everybody walking in there with a freaking mask on their face. Yep. Well, well, some people are just dickheads. Yes. Now, it's 8.30. It's 8.30. So have we had oh. any advance on the uh, on the yeah. full yeah. home? Like you've got 30 seconds to give us an advance if anyone wants to give it. Otherwise, cool. what we're going to do, uh, we'll, we'll break up our review and we'll move, we'll quickly go in and do a look at, and we'll have a chat with... Um, Sherry? With, uh, well, we'll bring Aaron in first. I okay. Think. Let's bring Aaron in from Resurgence. G'day, Aaron. Hey, guys. How are you? Good, mate. Good. Mate. Good. So, uh, well, while well, we've got you here, first of all, mate, thanks very much for all the support you've given the show over the last 12 months. Mate, it's been much appreciated, that's for sure. You're so welcome. No, I've really enjoyed it. And you guys are like um, definitely like family to me now. So, and uh, it's been bloody good. So, I hey, one visit, the two visits to my place, mate. He thinks we're family. <laughs> yeah. In that case, next time, next time, yeah, you're going to the fridge to get the beer. <laughs> <laughs> that is, sure, no problem. That'd that be the Adams family, uh, Aaron. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, Aaron, you're aware of we we, we haven't had any. Uh, one second, we're just having to make sure there's no increase on. The, no, we haven't. So what I'll do, Aaron, is well, I'm going to bring Sher Sherry in, and I'm going to drop us off. The, you won't see us, but we'll still be here, and uh, yes. I'll let you let her know what the result is. So there we I'll bring Sherry on. There you are, Sherry. Oh, we can stay on yep. too. Well, why not? Hey, Sherry, how are you going? Great. Good. Hey, good. <laughs> All right. Like... Well, as, as, we, <laughs> as we had you on the other week, we had you on the other week and uh, we said we were going to, uh, thanks to Aaron and Resurgence here, we were going to auction off this pair of jeans for bikers for bikers down. Aaron, let's let uh, Sherry know uh, what the result is, oh, mate. Well. So, um, Sherry, uh, what I understand, it's um, up to 450 so it was um, just sold as two, uh, 450 that's So that's absolutely fantastic. I'm actually over overjoyed for you, and um, that donation will certainly help you. Um, so that's fantastic. It's um, – I don't often get speechless. I think I told those guys before, uh, but, you know, far out. You know, what, what – what, what that means really is that there are some people, riders, pillions, their family members who want to come on board, but, you know, like we all struggle at times and sometimes even that 15 bucks is just really hard to get. So what you have done have given the opportunity for some of those people who know what it's like to struggle through recovery, want to be able to help, want to be able to show that they are a volunteer, are going to be able to have that pack. And, and so what so they want to do here. and help. Um, yeah, it's, um, we, we've had that, you know, like just we, we have had that where people have just so badly wanted to join. They've joined, but they just haven't been able to find that 15 bucks um and we, we we all know at some point in time that we've all had that struggle um so thank you well uh <laughs> um again on, so on, well. behalf, on behalf of hogs cogs and two just... flogs thank you for what you do sherry thank you um can i just sort of make one point that some people do get confused about if it's okay, it won't take long, I promise. This no, network of mates, <laughs> this network of mates is, mates is for everyone, doesn't matter what you ride. It's your ride and it's what you enjoy and what you love. Mm -hmm. So that's who we're here for. And, well, again, Aaron, you do thank an you absolutely so sensational job. You're welcome. All right. Well, Sherry, we're, I'll talk to you offline and uh, we'll organise for the person who uh, has purchased these jeans to uh, get get the right size 
and uh, we'll organise to get the money into the uh, Bikers for Bikers Down account. And uh, I tell you what, when you start to run low again, give us a call at Hogs Cogs and two Aussie Flogs. This ain't going to – this, this, this – <laughs> Piddly amount of money is not going to be enough to stop you doing what needs to be done, and we'll make sure that you you, you don't have to worry about these volunteer packs anymore. All right, but we'll just go get Aaron up again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you've done something, my husband. You've done something, my husband's been trying to do. You've shut me up. I'm speechless. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Sherry, and thanks, Aaron, mate. And uh, we'll talk to you as all a little bit later, guys. I, I, I just, uh, just again from 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 uh, all the flogs out there, we really appreciate all your input, uh, Aaron. Appreciate all the stuff you've done for us this year, mate. We really, really You're appreciate welcome. appreciate it. I hope all you flogs out there, if you need any sort of gear, um, Aaron not only doesn't only do jeans, he does gloves and jackets and all sorts of stuff. Get on there. Christmas is coming. Uh, you know, if you're going to buy something, something make, if somebody you know might ride a motorcycle, make it a useful present and, and get them you know, some some protective protective gear. It's uh, it's an absolute uh, they're the most comfortable jeans I've ever had. I keep saying. Them. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. All right, guys, we'll talk to you a little bit later. Cheers, guys. How's that, mate? Fantastic. Four hundred and fifty dollars. That is outstanding, and uh, geez, I thought if we could raise a hundred bucks or two hundred bucks for it, it'd be great. So that's the community that we're talking about. That's the community that we've grown with this with this channel. And it's not us, and it's not just us and the girls. It's it's everybody who's come on board. Yep. And uh, geez, I appreciate, it, mate. I, I just think it's it's been outstanding. Yep. Um, so again, as I said, mate, we we, we finished up. We were talking about. Uh, no justice for bikers. And then we go and, you know, we weren't going to talk about piles. We're going to have a quiet time. And then young Max um, Lucas had his accident up in the hills here. And uh, young Max, if you, if you go back to episode 11, busted up bikers' rights at his school. And young Max came off his bike, speared into a tree because he hit a pothole at night that was filled with water. Yep. Uh, bike then collapsed into him or, or careered into him, uh, the radiator exploded all over him and put him in hospital for three months with, yeah. with uh, severe burns, yeah. you know. And to me, we're on the Mount Dan on tourist road, for God's sake. If they, this bloody useless government can't keep that, you know, and, and, and for that, poor Max ended up in hospital for three months and, you know, I remember just sitting in his lounge, in his uh, dining room, interviewing him and his dad. And uh, geez, listen to a dad talk about how he instinctively knew something was wrong. And then he heard the car pull up in the drive and he went, oh, thank God. And then he looks out the door and sees a police car and two coppers get out. Yeah. Mate, that was a hard interview to do, I've got to tell you, mate, because that bike went through hell that night, and yeah. they went through hell for a long time. So shout out if they're watching tonight, Max and Peter Lucas, uh, great family. And, uh, you know, this is the other thing, is the people we've met through this show. Yeah. You know, I just heard their story, because uh, he, he actually commented, Matt, Peter, who's the father, commented on the show, uh, on the Facebook page, and I mean, oh, I want to have a chat this way, what's going on? And, Next, you know, the next day I went out of the house with a camera and it was just heartbreaking, really. absolutely heartbreaking. And, and again, it's the same thing we've been banging on about the whole time, potholes. So anyway, mate, that was that was that one. So shout out to them guys. Um, well, we must have we must have had a, a bit of an impact on 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 what's been happening because I mean we ended up with. The Today Show contact with us, and we had <laughs> Channel <laughs> 7. I, I still reckon that was a bit sort of, you know, disgusting. Your behaviour was <laughs> half Stefanovic, mate. I mean, asking him to wrap his meat hooks around you. I mean, if you haven't seen that, you can go to the YouTube channel. It's, it's still up there. Uh, what's it called? Two Aussie forms go live on the National Today Show. That was uh, that was a fun. Yeah. Uh, that was the first thing we filmed out of my studio. That was good. Um, so that was great. What was the best Harley Davidson? Yep. Well, we did that one out of – now, this is, another, this is another highlight to me, Mark. Yep. When we did the – what is the biggest um, – hold on, hold on. 
Let me just interrupt for a moment. Now, I, I can see Sherry's still sitting here listening. We've got $450, right, yep. for the jeans, which is outstanding, but this has just come in. No, wrong one. <laughs> Wait a sec, that's the one I want to put up. Mad Cow Mark has just said he'll pay for 10 more. Oh, my God. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I've got to bring her back on. What do you think about that, Sherry? Yeah, I think that says it all. Our community <laughs> is all right, so we're up to we're up to six hundred dollars worth now. That's insane. That's fantastic. Wow. Mark, absolutely bloody fantastic. Hey? I just that's yeah. absolutely fantastic. Um... Hey, that's all right, Sherry. That is absolutely outstanding. So uh, now we're looking at six hundred dollars worth. So that's that's brilliant. Wow. Anyway, back to my story. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon, Sherry. <laughs> oh, sorry, I saw that, mate. I had to put that up. That was oh, hang on, John Aqua. Where is? Must have worked a hundred bucks worth. Oh. Holy shit! There we go. There's another hundred for you, Sherry. We're up to seven hundred now. How good is this community? <laughs> I, you should, I can actually see Sherry in the background and she's sitting there with her, her, her hands over her face and uh, that's absolutely outstanding, guys. Absolutely outstanding. So... Uh, oh, I'm freaking tearing up here. Oh, 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 you're oh, soft. Oh, <laughs> now oh, oh, hey? There you go. So... Oh, a bunch from Alex as well. Oh, there's another hundred. Holy crap. And that's 800. Lisa, you have to, can you take care of this? <laughs> that is outstanding. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. Absolutely outstanding. Um, all right, let me drop that down for a moment, mate. We have to, have to settle a bit up. Yes. Uh, I, I, I said this community was outstanding. Yep. Cool. That's brilliant. So we were at Empire Harley, mate. Yes. Handle was Empire Harley. Not only Empire Harley, but the weekend we had up there with the boys. Yes, that was awesome. Um, with the boys from Empire Harley, uh, they had only taken over, what, 12 months before or something. Another 100 from Chop. Another 100 from Chop. Make that 900 sherry. Okay. <laughs> wow. And uh, absolutely outstanding. No? Absolutely outstanding. Uh, and uh, so we were up there for that, mate, and we had we, we took about 22 up there, I think, to Bendigo for that weekend. And we, which, oh, sorry, mate, I'm a little bit speechless. Yeah. <laughs> Mar Marsh just shocked. <laughs> oh, oh, here's, here's another one $105 because I know maths. Oh. <laughs> That's a thousand dollars. There's another 150 from uh, and a key ring from that. <laughs> I'm losing. <laughs> The goats. The goats. I, I feel like I'm on the bloody, uh, what's the name? The door. Norman Dave, 150. Holy crap, we're going to uh, keep, keep, keep the tally because this is getting out of hand. Uh, uh, Adam Miss, another 100. Uh, uh, we're up about 1,200 or something now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, on you go. <laughs> uh, oh, mate, that's, that's absolutely sensational. Absolutely sensational. Um, let me drop that one down out of the way. We'll, we'll, we'll add all things up and we'll get back to you. We'll, 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 oh, Jesus. we'll, we'll have to have the, the check handing over or something. <laughs> so, absolutely brilliant. All right. So, uh, as I said, we were talking about uh, some of the shows. The show up at Benigo was, to me, was outstanding for a couple of reasons. One, it was the first one we did where we actually had a ride with people. Oh, nice. yeah. We had another hundred from Zappa. Zappa. <laughs> Zappa. Uh, I've lost count, people. Oh, my God. Lisa, can we go through and get here? <laughs> I think we're up at about $1,300 now. That's inst that's outstanding. But I've got to go on with the show, mate. We'll yep. never end. Yep. The other thing that was so fantastic about uh, that, that that night was not only we, we, went out, we, we went out with everybody for dinner to a pub, and the boys from um, Empire Harley came with us. And after that, 
we ended up back at Chris and Katie's house. We were uh, two flogs that have been friends of mine for, uh, for a long time, and uh, they opened up their amazing, he's got an amazing man cave out the back, hasn't yeah. he? And uh, we partied on into the wee small hours, and uh, it was just an outstanding weekend, that one. Yeah. So that was that was absolutely brilliant. Um, what else did we do? Right? Well, we went to the bloody 120th anniversary. That wasn't a bad weekend, did it? That was a fun weekend over at uh, Tail and Bend, but it was a it was a weird weekend, wasn't it? Because we went over there with an idea of who we were going to talk to and what we were going to do, and then all of a sudden um, the tide turned and Harley wouldn't let their people talk to us or let anyone from – it was so weird because – here all we do want to do a puff piece on the whole group and 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 sort of give it a G on her. They are only can not talk to them, they're a recalcitrance or something. <laughs> well, they might say something nasty. <laughs> we weren't planning on saying anything nasty. We were actually planning on just, you know, puff them up, puff them up, up in the event. But but you know what? Their silence was golden, mate. It was. So uh, I don't suppose we're getting a new uh, road light for Christmas. No, that, that's what we have. No, 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 <laughs> I've not got room for any more bikes in the garage. I've got three in here at the moment. <laughs> so that's enough. Uh, that That is exactly right, uh, Lisa. Fabulous Christmas spirit. Yep. And now, now, I mean, we've been pumping our own time for a while now. Yeah. Now, what about... We had, we had somebody else come on board, which has been absolutely fantastic. We have. And that would be? Hoglites, mate. Nate. Nate from Hoglites. And uh, you know what? He's sitting in the background. Yep. He's going, they're bullshitting on. Eventually, they're going to put me on. Yep. Well, before we bring him on, let's let's just talk about a few things, mate. Not only has he sent us products to review. Yep. He has come on. And, and the last episode, to me, was a, was a cracking episode because he got on and explained the difference between different sorts of LED lights and all that. And if you didn't learn something from that, you weren't listening. You know, but more than anything, that photo that he gave us. Yes. At the last minute, he said, oh, you might want to use this photo. Well, mate, it looked like, you know, the, the road ahead of that bike is lit up like Blackpool Illuminations, yes. which is just, yeah. And, and I think from that, he sold it. A heap of, of gear. And let's bring him on board because one of the things he said was that uh, at the end of the year, he was going to announce that anyone who had purchased anything from him for a hog like was going into the running for a prize. Yep. So let's bring Nate in. Hello, hey guys. How are we? Good, mate, yourself? Oh, bloody hot up here. Welcome to Queensland. Yeah, well. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's a bloody like Queensland here at the moment. It's freaking stinking up there. It's like living in Thailand. Yeah, if you can hear that whooshing in the background, that's because we, because we're old men and we need a fan. Yeah, it's bloody hot. <laughs> so, uh, Nate, how's your year gone? And uh, more importantly, how's the sales from uh, the hog? Uh, all the flops been going for you, mate? Have you uh, sold a few hog lights, mate? Mate, um, look, this year has been a crazy year. Actually, the last few years have been absolutely crazy. We've just had some great growth and support from not only the Aussie community, but our friends across the uh, across the pond as well, and a few more international ones, which is fantastic. So, mate, I'm really happy with how uh, how our growth has been over the last few years. <clears throat> and uh, since we've come on board with you guys, I'm I, I can't ask for anything better. <clears throat> I get a couple of Couple of flogs flogging us around and um, and pushing uh, <laughs> pushing out gear out there and suggesting that um, people have a look at us, mate. And that's all we can ask. That, that's awesome, mate. That's awesome. So uh, we thought now might be a really good time uh, for you to be able to draw the or, or let us know who was the winner of the uh, the hot lights prize, mate. Because uh, I'm sure there's a few people sitting watching at the moment and, and are thinking. Well, I bought something from them. I wonder how I've got. <laughs> mate, not just, so just not remind just... us what the prize is, mate. All right, so we got a five hundred dollar voucher um, for basically anything in the shop that you can use for um, for that side. <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, look, we've not just got. Uh, we didn't put those who who just bought from us, mate. Those who came back and had a second uh, a second go, and in uh, two instances, a third go. Um, we, we put uh, we put everybody in. So if you added in, if you bought uh, 
twice or three times, and you guys know who you are. Um, mate, you're in there with three chances. So, um, look, we hang on a sec, and we will just do that bit live. Computer's thinking about it. Drum Computer roll, says please. no. Okay. Well, can I keep this drum roll going for so long, Nate? That's all right. I only heard about three seconds, so I was about to hit in on it. Right, okay. Uh, <laughs> look, I'd like to say congratulations to Tommy from Ullandala in New South Wales. Well done, mate. You've picked yourself up 500 bucks. Um, I'll shoot you an email tomorrow at some stage, but I will get it out tomorrow sure. just in case you aren't on the show tonight. Yeah. But, um, mate, cool. thank you very much, and uh, we really appreciate it, and happy spending, mate. Well done, Tommy. Yeah, that's, that is that's outstanding. That's that is outstanding. Fantastic. And uh, again, mate, mate, all we can say is your support has been absolutely instrumental in, in this show continuing, mate. And uh, we really appreciate it. And we hope that the, uh, our, you know, our uh, collaboration can continue well into the future, mate. Mate, look, we're looking well beyond 2024 and and uh, and further from that as we watch the channel grow. And I'm glad to hear that there are a few people that uh, are coming on board, and in particular, uh, our fellow Queenslander. So um, yes, mate, we'll uh, get a little bit more of the less of the centre of the earth from Victoria, and uh, you know, get a bit more up, <laughs> up with all the hicks up there. Yeah. Yes, oh, absolutely. Well, us Mexicans might have to get up there at some stage, mate, and uh, take a look at the, the hog lights factory, I think. Yep. Mate, the beer's always cold, yeah. so, yep. No, uh, we're booking it in tomorrow. <laughs> All right, mate. Thanks very much, mate. And once again, thanks for uh, offering that prize and uh, to, what does that say? Show. I bought a frame mounted zero three highway piece from Bobber Lights. Very nice. There you go, mate. So straight Thanks, up Steve. we got a uh, the pat on the bike. And I, I know uh, Chris from Berber. Chris and Kay, Chris Berber, who I've spoken to numerous times, he's bought a few things off you, mate. And uh, apart from the fact he'll be pissed he didn't win the five hundred bucks worth, he, <laughs> he's very happy with his hobble lights, mate. Uh, awesome. Well, listen, there boys, have a great Chrissy and uh, we will catch you in the new year and to all your uh, uh, viewers, I can't say listeners, but to all the viewers, have a great well, and safe, well, well, ride well. safe. Two wheels down, boys. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. We really appreciate See it. See you, mate. How good was that? That was well, you know. Oh, I want to know. Is Tony watching? If you're watching, Tony, jump in the live chat, mate. Mm. Tommy, sorry. Tommy, if you're watching, Tommy. Uh, jump in the live chat and uh, let yourself be known, mate, because yeah. that's an outstanding prize. That would be, wouldn't that be the perfect opportunity to introduce? Our next person who's going to be a... Well, that would be, in fact. And uh, speaking of those people up north, yep. the ones who won't have daylight savings because they're afraid the curtains are not going to, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're going to fade the curtains. Yes. We've uh, decided... Cows. Well, we decided that we're going to bring in someone new. And, and now this this fella is a young youth or a younger, in, in our case, he's young. Well, everybody's young in our case. Well, that's true. Um, YouTuber who has hit the scene running, quite frankly. He's I mean, just got over a thousand subs. I'm just got over a thousand subs in, in a very short period of time. I don't know what he, I'm not giving him any advice because he'll go past me. Uh, I don't know what that, that's no good. That's not going to be allowed. <laughs> so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that third rule do. Now, just just one thing, folks. I've got to, I've got to warn you, he's got a shopping moustache. Oh, it's, it's it's Johnny Holmes. <laughs> For those of you who remember, it's a Johnny Holmes mustache. <laughs> he's, he's probably going, who the hell is Johnny Holmes? You can go on Google. That one. <laughs> so his name's Matt Humble, humble by name, humble by nature, and he's got a, a YouTube channel by the name of Gnarly Harley. What is going on? Good, how are you? <laughs> Thanks for having me on. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at that. That's magnificent, mate. Magnificent. Now, tell us uh, just a little bit about yourself and how you got into YouTubing, mate. Um, well, pretty much. Um, yeah, my name's Matt, as you said. I'm 30 years old. Um, Gnarly Harley. I got into um, YouTubing because of um, Million Dollar Bogan, and Danny Hayes, and that's the whole reason I got a Harley Davidson. Before that, I was sports bikes and adventure bikes all the way. 
Well, I'd say you were uh, basically you've been uh, led astray by a bloody Danny again. Well, it's, it's, yeah. you won't be the first and won't be the last. I'm suggesting, mate. A hundred percent, hundred percent. Well, your old man's on at the moment, mate. Craig, he said, uh, "My young fella, what a legend." Well, he is a legend. Craig and uh Craig, can you have a word to me about that freaking mustache, mate? Seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but don't just trim it on those thighs because that could look really bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh that one. Hey? Not gnarly himself. Um, <laughs> That's one of your viewers, obviously, mate. All right, so yeah. I've got two questions for you. Number one, what does gnarly mean? Because I'm an old man. So gnarly is, is basically yeah, so it, it did start as a big surfy thing. Everyone's like, gnarly, dude. But basically, to me, well, the word means like challenging or difficult and stuff like that. So a lot of a lot of my life's been a bit that way. So I've I run with the word gnarly because I think that represents me a bit of like a challenge and just life's, life's challenging and it's just gnarly. So, yeah, it's pretty yeah. much it. We've been watching your stuff and actually after I watched the first two or three, I rang Paul and said, we've got to get this young fella on. He's got, uh, he, he's got a way about him. We've got high hopes for you, mate. So everybody get on and, and have a look at Gnarly Harley. It's a great it's, it's a great YouTube channel. He's just done something that to me was outstanding, mate. He went for a ride, not only with his dad, yep. but with his granddad. Now I've, I've, I've actually sent a letter to child protection in Queensland because his granddad rides a bloody Indian. What is going on? And his father rides a street block. <laughs> I mean, if that's not child protection, I'm finished. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, we put a lot of shit on street lights here. And, uh, you know, we don't mind pre-1945 uh, Polaris is either, do we, mate? What an adventure. Go on and roll with your dad and your grandpa. You've got no idea how many people would love to do such a thing. Oh, mate, that would be fantastic. You know, yeah. It, that must be pretty cool. Oh, it was definitely – It's. It's. I'm going to remember it for the rest of my life. It was definitely an amazing experience. We hadn't done it for, like, 12 years. So, yeah, it was very special, yeah. very special. Well, mm. mate, that's the – I was, you know, if I had to go for a ride with my granddad, I had to strap you through the box for the back of the box. So uh, you, you're a very lucky man. Now, what we've, uh, it's just for the viewers, what we've told Matt and what we've told everybody that's coming on board tonight uh, and over the next couple of months is they can come to us, say, once a month with a, with a piece that will either say what's going on in their state or they can come to us with something that they've attended. You, mate, it's up to you. We've got faith in the people we've picked that you'll bring something to the table from your state. So that's all we're interested in is you bring in whatever it is you think uh, is going to interest the uh, the Queenslanders, basically. And same with Leanne. So she's going to either bring on you know, her, you, and uh, our next presenters that we'll be bringing on shortly. Uh, you bring us what's happening motorcycle-wise in your state and... Yeah, if you've got any special um, events you've attended or whatever, mate, hey, let even, us know. Even even like, like great great uh, roads to ride. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, if you've got a, if you if you like having yeah, yeah, give us a route, Matt. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind having the odd route for us, that'd be good. <laughs> um, yeah. We'll uh, live vicariously through you. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, that sounds good to me. I love riding, so <laughs> <laughs> he loves riding and route. <laughs> His grandfather was watching for God's sake. Outrage. Hey, mate, I, I've got to say, uh, if, if anybody hasn't watched um, uh, the channel yet, it, it is an absolute cracking channel. Um, the It's uh, it's really well put together. Um, it's entertaining. It's slick. It's uh, it's. It, it's actually you know quality, it's it's quality a, content. Yeah, it's quality content because it's, it's catering for an audience. He's, he's not catering for... Yeah, you know, just makes mates. Yeah, he's catering for the greater the community. community. And uh, mate, you've not been doing it long, but you're doing it bloody well. So uh, welcome aboard the Hogs, Cogs, and Tuzzy Flogs family, mate. And uh, we're looking forward to what we can see from you in the in, in the near future. Awesome! Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. No, mate.
Yeah, our pleasure. We'll talk to you soon, Matt. Get on there, guys. It's Thank Harley you. Harley. So Narling starts with a G. Yeah, G N A R L E Y Harley. That's how you spell it. Narling, there we go. Young blokes and young blokes and their tattoos. I don't know what they're talking about. I wrote a couple. <laughs> and all the best to your dad and, uh, and your brother who's online as well. We wish yeah. you a Merry Christmas too. Cheers, guys. Awesome. Thank you. See ya. How good's that, mate? I reckon he's going to be an absolute asset to the, uh, to the show. Yeah. So uh, now we did uh, every episode, and we're not going to have – I don't think we're going to have one this year, so, but we will go back just a little bit, and I'll say that every episode – we do this. Yeah. So for the thousands watching from home, eventually, for the couple in the studio audience, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to grumble. It's the same grumble, mate. Just yeah, the same, the same grumble. We've already spoken about it today, the potholes, mate. Not getting any better. Not getting any better. Um I tell you what, I like that idea someone said before is everybody go and grab a big slab of bloody the bitumen. The bitumen from there and put it in your pannier, mate, and we'll take it and we'll drop it on the bloody steps of Parliament House. Yep. Along with a massive yellow canary. Yes. I reckon we'll get one about. If we, you know, got any printers in the audience that can do a massive uh, banner? Banner. That would be awesome. So uh, that's, that's our grumble for this week, mate. It hasn't changed. We're not going to let up. We are going to continue to uh, push this. Yeah. And, uh, and, and you know what, again, again, I'll say it again. This, this is absolutely statewide. So the last couple of weeks I've been from here, we've been down to through Mortlake, Warrnambool, and back through Colac. Yes. Uh, I, hit a, I hit a pothole. John Aqua, who's on, is online at the moment, I hit a pothole. He was behind me. He actually saw the boat. John Aqua's both. always online, mate. I don't, I don't think he actually goes to work. Yeah. He actually saw a boat with on. I left the ground, right? And yeah. absolutely smacked down. Then we went up to uh to Aubrey on the weekend. The roads on the way up there were shies yeah. housing. Um uh the Melba Highway is an absolute disgrace. Oh, that was a shocker, mate. Ooh, that shit. is like the surface of the freaking moon. It's horrible. So um, we are gonna keep absolutely ramming this thing home um and, and try to get some action happening. Yeah. I think there's a little bit of movement there, but not much. Just <laughs> Oh, that movement. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. We've got one more set of uh, new flocks to bring in to introduce to everybody, mate. Mm -hmm. Now, as we know, uh, 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 heaven on earth for motorcyclists this has motorcycle one man. name, has one name, and it's Tasmania. And uh, for such a small island, it's got so much potential. We've decided we need to bring on not one but two flaws. <laughs> now, we've introduced you to one before. Yes. And uh, we'll bring her in now. It's the lovely Annie Dupree from the beautiful penguin in Tasmania. G'day, Annie. How are you, darling? Hi, Whitey. Hi, Paul. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Elaine. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you very much. All right, so along with your good self, because we, we decided that Tassie's got so much to offer, we needed two people, we're bringing along another another moto blogger that we've seen. Yes. And uh, it, it is a mountain. And by that, I mean literally a mountain of a man. He's about the size of uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. Yep. Uh, not wide, just high. Yes. And uh, we'd like to introduce... And, and can I say, the absolute gentleman... He is a gentleman. ...of motovlogging. Yeah, that's true. He's the absolute gentleman of motovlogging. Yeah, and it's absolutely... So we're going to introduce you now to Big Bird. G'day, Bird. How are you, mate? G'day, guys. How are you going? G'day, Annie. Hello, everybody in the side chat. Welcome to the Cheers, show. Bert. Now, Bert, is there any truth to the rumour that that camera is actually built atop of a telegraph pole and you're looking down on it? Bert, I'm um, just keeping it over, mate. That's the ceiling is. you're looking at. <laughs> <laughs> but now, uh, guys, the, the reason we brought both of you on board is, A, both, personally, we, we respect the work you do, 
Um, Annie, you are, uh, I mean, we did a, a whole show on you earlier. If you haven't seen it, anyone, go back and have a look. Uh, I did tell you you can get more than 2,000 views on that, by the way, Annie, and we did. Okay. Uh, Annie is basically Australia's Itchy Boots. Well, she was Itchy Boots before Itchy was Itchy Boots was Itchy. Yes. She, <laughs> she wasn't even an Itchy in her uh, father's pants. Yeah, but, but well before she was born, Annie. Yeah. And, and, and also, Annie, Annie was the first person who was who was asked what her favourite route was. She was. We, we, we actually, she was the first uh, person over the age of. Uh, what would I say? Over fifty, but you actually asked for it, <laughs> which was 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 quite troubling on the night. I uh, was a bit concerned. What well, started a whole? They started, yeah. started a whole second. Well, but but now uh, Annie and Annie, Annie and Bert are going to have to coordinate their routes. Yes, yes, uh, yeah. because we don't want them doubling up. We, we don't want them running together. No, no. Well, one one's going to get the. Uh, <laughs> East Coast and the West Coast. Yeah, we're Tidy it up, like boys. That. You Tidy guys, up. You, you guys can work it out amongst yourselves what you're going to do. But, I mean, we're giving you the same brief, haven't we? Just show us what this, uh, what Tassie's got to offer, you know? And uh, that would be that would be all we can. Uh, quite frankly, Bert and Annie, you have got no excuses to come to us and say, <laughs> we haven't got anything for this week because I reckon... We could put something together every week for about well, a millennium yeah, yeah. in Tasmania. It would absolutely, absolutely be fantastic. So, uh, Annie, we've heard all about your good self. Uh, Bert, tell us a little bit about yourself, mate. Uh, I'm pretty tall. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, you're about six People foot 12. Tell me. <laughs> Six foot, I was well. six foot seven. Uh, I ride a street bike, yeah. much to some people's disgust. Um, <laughs> born, born and bred in Tassie. Um, I've been riding since I can't say I was little because I can't ever remember being little, but I used to ride a trail bike round on the uncle's farm with my cousin Patrick. Um, got up through the trail bikes in the bush and stuff. Had an exodus, as most people do, and then got back onto the bike uh, probably about 20 years ago. And been riding again ever since, pretty much on Harley Davidsons, because of my size. They're the only thing that are comfortable for me to spend any time on. Yeah. Um, and why yeah, wouldn't you be a motor? And why wouldn't you be a motorcycle rider in Tassie? Absolutely, one hundred percent. It is absolutely God's country. Um, now, your your channel, you just sort of do a bit of uh, a bit of everything. You, you, you travel around and do a, all that sort of stuff, and uh, you know, especially with the with the daughter there, Squirt. Um, yes. Uh, what he's just just taken off. Be back in two seconds. <laughs> um, now, uh, and now, if you haven't uh, going back to Annie, if you haven't seen Annie, uh, Annie was an absolute pioneer for, for women motorcyclists um, in Australia, pretty much. Uh, right from the get-go, uh, back when uh, women weren't motorcycling. So she has got an absolute wealth of knowledge and uh, is an absolute world traveller. She's been everywhere. And if you look at that um, at that uh, podcast we did earlier on with Annie, you'll see all the stuff she's been to. I mean, some of the places you've been, Annie. Uh, you've just come back from where? Where have you been recently? Uh, the Balkans. A uh, figure of eight through eight of the uh, Balkan countries. Well, that is... Because that's what you do. <laughs> when, yeah, you just jump on a bike and head off to the Balkans. Yes, right? yes. Hey? Yeah. You're going to have to give uh, the, the young Danny a ring and tell him, uh, listen, mate, if you want to do some real riding, yeah, yeah, follow me. Follow me. You know? and, and, yeah, and what should the name of your blog that you do, Annie? Sorry, what's that? The, the, the blog you do well, of your oh, trip. Um... Annie's Micro Adventures. Annie's Micro Adventures. Is that dot com or yeah, oh, so Annie, I'll put the link, I'll get the link off oh, Annie and I'll oh, put it in the show notes. If, yeah, if, yeah. if you want to see a true Australian biker, oh my god, go and have a look at Annie's Annie's micro adventure. They're, they're hardly a micro adventure. Yeah. They're a maxi adventure. <laughs> you know, they're absolutely sensational. So it's gonna be absolutely fantastic having you two guys on board. Well, I'm really interested to see what you come up with individually and, and together. So you're going to have to get together and, uh, geez, I mean, all you've got to do is go and head down to... Go to the milk bar. No, you go down to what's the name? Go down to what's um, the Harley-Davidson dealer down in Oh, Richardson. Richardson's, Richardson's. Harley-Davidson, mate. 
away. And uh, I know you know um, his first name. Simon. The owner of Richardson's. Simon, Simon. that's it. Sorry, Simon. Um, what a great location that is. And, uh, geez, I wish I could go and meet with someone there every week and just uh, talk bikes because I, I love that place, mate. Yeah, and if, look, if you haven't been on, jump on. It's, uh, you know, a big perk on uh, on YouTube, um, and it's not on YouTube. She just does a, a blog, but uh, uh, Big Bird is on YouTube. If you haven't, if you haven't uh, jumped on to have a look at his stuff, jump on there and follow him. Um, and mate, we really appreciate you guys coming on board. Uh, Any, while you're here, why did you get in the motorcycling? Yeah, I ha I thought about that, and honestly, um, I had no say in it. Um, Motorcycling is just in my blood and I just gave into it and became a motorcyclist at a fairly young age and am still a motorcyclist. And it's just, yeah, it's just what I enjoy doing now, having, you know, always done it. But, yeah, I believe once you recognise that motorcycling is in your blood, you just have to give into it and you just... yeah. Right, it's wonderful. Yeah, it, it's an it's an absolute way of life, isn't it? Mm. 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 And not yeah, only that, and then you me, meet it's... all these people because you've got such yeah, exactly um, was... a shared passion. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. exactly what I was going to say. And, and, and yeah. well, mate, I, I I didn't know Annie before we spoke to her when when she came over and we we picked her up and kept, brought her here and interviewed her and. Uh, a couple of weeks later, I'm in Tassie at her house uh, having a little fondue type thing on the front lawn and then we walked across the road and uh, watched about 10,000 penguins come in. I felt like I joined a Batman movie. <laughs> it was uh, an absolute pleasure staying with you, Annie, and uh, I believe you're coming to Victoria in a couple of weeks. Yeah, January. What date? Uh, January 6th of Jan, so I'll catch up with you then. We will definitely catch up. And, uh, well, we've got you there. Bert, what got you yes. in the box, mate? Uh, I really don't know. They were just there and I got on one. I got on my <laughs> brother's little trail bike one day and that was it. I just, yeah. Hooked. Yeah. Hooked, yeah. It's a bit like that, isn't it? You, you jump on and you go, yeah, this works for me. This yep. just works. Does, does the squirt ever come on with you, your daughter? Oh, occasionally, but uh, getting less and less as she gets older. It's not that cool hanging around with Dad anymore now that she's <laughs> <laughs> she's sixteen. So you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're becoming decidedly very uncool. Oh yeah, very very uncool now. Yeah. But um, yeah, when when and if she does, there'll be a spot there on the back of the bike for her for sure. Brilliant and stuff. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, so, guys, thanks very much again. We really look forward to you coming on board in the new year. Uh, yeah. We'll obviously talk to you in the break. And uh, it's it, it, to me, it's just been fantastic to uh, yeah. that the, the show, show is going to grow this way. Yeah. We've, we've now got Queensland on board with Gnarly Harley. We've got Leanne from Casamoto and uh, Gary will come on board. Yeah, mate, don't you worry about that. We'll get him here. <laughs> for New South Wales, and we've got both Annie and Bert from Tasmania. Yep, so, and I'm working on somebody from uh, West Australia. And, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll keep going, and eventually we'll have uh, nationwide nationwide coverage, we hope. So that, that, that is the idea. Yep. So uh, thanks, guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great Christmas. Yep. No worries. Yep. Have a safe and great Christmas, everybody. Yeah, do so. Yeah, thanks, mate. Thank you, Zach, mate. I mean, I, I just can't wait to see what we're going to get from, from those two because they're both very different. Um, but I'll tell you what, when I was over there, Bert put me onto some really nice roads. Yep. And then so did Annie. Yep. And, uh, and so did Simon from Richardson's as well, by the way. And, and, and I came to the conclusion really all they had to do was go, go that way and that way because <laughs> everywhere in Tassie is outstanding. We've got to get back there, mate. Yeah, I, I, think, I think we need to organise, uh, we have talked about a it. Tassie a tour. A, a, a flog tour. Oh, show us in the show notes. Who's interested in a Tassie tour? Yep. Uh, we, we will be happy to organise that. I, I know we spoke about mm -hmm. at the uh, at the Vickers. 
Um, that's that's actually a slab now from Lisa. She hasn't got her phone on silent. That's a yeah, that's, that's a slab slab of uh, wild turkey will do. Yeah, yeah, that's a slab. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, but we we would love to get back down to Tassie again, and we're talking about maybe early twenty twenty five. Uh, would be would be a great time because we would love to go early, but it's, it's, this organising something that be. Uh, she said that was the case. It takes a bit of time. Did she? Okay. Yeah, it takes, love to go early. It, <laughs> it takes a bit of time to get all that stuff organised. That doesn't take many time to get organised. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Um, so uh, yeah, let's let's look at that in the in the uh, in the long past. Jeez, mate, we're filling the calendar up two years in advance. Yes. yes, yes. You know why I love it? Why? Because in just <laughs> six days, I'm back, baby. I'm back, my boy. As long as that surgeon does as he's tired, I will take every bit of advice from him before I go for that ride that day. Yep. But we're going for a ride, boys, next Tuesday. I am getting on the fat boy and I'm going. Rain, hail, or bloody shine, I'll give you the tip. Um, just somebody asked, can we put the uh, the details to where to donate the money to in the show notes? Yes, we'll do that. At the end of the show, we'll put that stuff in there for you. Yeah. Yeah. So look out, John Lloyd, if you want. I'm always right with me. Welcome back, Big Bird. Hey, where's my golden microphone? Hey. Oh, the golden microphone, like John Lloyd. Mate, I'll probably get a lead one. <laughs> hey, well, actually, you know what? We're actually talking about getting new microphones, mate. Yep. So we're going to give that a crack. We're going to go and have a look while we. Oh, maybe Santa will bring me a new microphone. Could. Could do, you reckon? Could do. All right, brilliant. I'd better call the board and troll. Hey, we, we, we've been hurry up. This is going nine hours, uh, one hour and 20 minutes now. We really need to get this right, going. Okay. All right, so, uh, oh, John, we don't have a route because we just don't have time for one tonight. But we'll just reiterate, especially for next year. So in the next couple of weeks, we've, we've got a six-week break. Yep. If you've got a good route, send us photos, yep. all right, including the map, I mean. Yes. Um, Not a fessor. No. Well, if it's yeah, in yeah. maybe the ride's in yeah, yeah. then you have to send it as part of the map of Tassie. Yeah. So uh, do that for us. And as we said, anyone who whose route we use or whose route we use yeah. will get a uh, get a price from the uh, merch. Thing. Yeah. So free stubby holder and sticker or a cup of the sticker. Yeah. Right. So now if someone had sent one in the last two weeks, you'd have been, you'd have, tomorrow morning in the mail would have been a lovely sticker and couple. And, and with that, guys, that, that's that's what the Facebook um, group right. is for. All your stuff in there. Um, you know, I know we, we, we've made Friday all the mean sorts of stuff, yeah. and, and that's great. And I've just noticed Eamon on his page done the same thing. He's, he's cut out all the memes and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So we, we, want to, want we don't want it to be just memes. Yeah. It's, it's most, and, and as I said the other day on the, on the Facebook group, I said, look, I'm, if, if I look at it before I put it, approve it, and it's one that's, you know, been around more often than bloody uh, Abbott and Casella, yeah. yeah, I'm not going to put it in, mate, because I'm not being rude to anyone, and it, it is still funny, but it's not funny with 7,000 times. Yeah. yeah. So, so it has to be something new. We really want we really want to give you guys value on that Facebook group. So that's why we want yeah. you to put your put your if you go on a ride somewhere, take some photos, put them up. If you if you go to a good restaurant or a good pub or uh, a, a bakery, anything, whack it up there. That's what we want that Facebook page for. Yeah. So please use it you know, yeah. wisely. And more importantly, yeah, send us some roots and, and, and that sort of stuff. So that'd right. be great. Yep. New Michael, that's just cruel. Dorman, that's a bit cruel, mate. New Michael <laughs> for a muscle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Harsh, but fair. <laughs> so uh, that's Rally's runs. Oh, now Rally's runs of events. Let me just, I'm going to do something new here. So bear with me, people. Yep. I'm going to try and screen share uh, this one here. There we go. Share that to you. So this is uh, Victorian Rally's runs and events calendar, which is currently. Uh, up on the Victorian Rallies Runs and Events uh, Facebook group. Yep. So uh, if you've got um, rides or events coming up, that's the place to send them to, not to us via Hogs, Cogs and Tours and Flaws. We're not going to fill up our Facebook page with events, but we will, if, if they come to me, I'll, I'll make sure they end up on here. So yeah, as you can see, there's a, there's a heap of stuff. Mate, we just had about 12 um, toy runs on the weekend, which yep. I believe were absolutely fantastic. So of note here is uh, for those up at Bendigo, don't forget uh, 15th of December, you've got the Empire Harley Davidson Christmas barbecue. That'll be a fun, fun day. Go and eat all their hot dogs. 
and their hamburgers. Um, Packet and toy run's always a good one. And uh, there's a, uh, that's a good one, the end of the year, 27th to the 30th, is the Omeo run, mate. And the Omeo run leaves Trelgan and, and heads up to Omeo over, over three days. Yep. So that's a beauty. And, of course, don't forget, 14th of January, which will be just before we come back, we've got the uh, Lifeline ride. Yep. So, so that's the um, get, that's the million dollar bogan uh, ride. Yeah, which is uh, I'm trying let to me go back to here. Let me unpresent. Stop screen. There oh. we go. We're back, mate. Yeah. So the, the is that is that what, is that the fourteenth of January? Yeah, fourteenth of January. Yep. Leaving from uh, Big Peter Geelong. Big Peter Geelong. Yep. Um, get on to his uh, website there because. He's got all the details on there, and uh, we'll have a little bit of involvement in that too. So we'll have more to say about that. Uh, probably yeah. via the Facebook page, mate. Yeah, but that that guys, that, that should be uh, that, that's always a fantastic day. We'll all like all like everybody's there. That one, we're expecting again at least a uh, thousand to twelve hundred bikes there. Um, there'll be uh, prizes and giveaways there. Um, I know Danny's auctioning off a couple more of his. Uh, Prize possession, which would be great. Yeah. Parry will be there. Geelong Harley Davis, Colin, all the boys will be there. We'll be there. Um, there's a couple of announcements we'll put up there of some stuff that we're getting involved in. Um, and it should be an absolutely amazing day. I think Aaron's going to help us out with a couple of things on that as well. Yeah. Um, so, uh, guys, uh, get along to that. It is one of the best the best uh, events of the year. Yeah. And the night before is Geelong Bike Night. Um, always, always a good one, mate. Geelong Bike Night is a... Uh, it is always good, but it's Even better, better. the night before is huge. Yeah. Can I just ask, if you're going to go to John White night, especially the night before, don't be a dick. Uh, don't be doing burnouts as you leave and all that sort of crap. Because what happened is, I don't know if you know, the Bendigo Trike and Bike Night yeah, but has yeah. just had to move venues again because of people being prawns as they leave. Yep. So, uh, look, I think the new place, uh, speaking to the Bendigo Trike Bike Night, they found a new location, which I think is actually going to be better and more suited anyway. Yes. Not in a, anywhere near a residential area or, or a shopping district. It's a massive car park at a huge um, petrol station. So that's probably going to be better. But you know what? It only takes two or three you know, people showing up. And that's all you're doing, mate. You're showing off. We all know your bike's loud and we know you're a hero. But why do it at these sorts of events? These blokes put a lot of work into getting them going. Cool your heads in just for five minutes. And, and if you want to do it up the road where, where the coppers catch you, it's your fault, not collectively everybody's yep. fault. Then that's that's up to you guys. But uh, anyway, now, mate, we're coming very close to the end. This, well, what I want to do now is I want to bring the two most uh, important people in this team on board. Who are completely ignoring us. Totally ignoring us. <laughs> Get up here, you two. So you all know that uh, we call this thing Tom Cobbs and two Aussie flogs, but in reality there's four. There's four of us here to keep this thing going. There's my lovely tail going to here behind me, Lisa, and the beautiful bakery queen. <laughs> okay. So uh, it's been an absolute huge year, girls, and uh, basically from us, we'd like to say thanks. To you guys. To you guys, because we couldn't have done this without you. Um, I mean, all the running around you've done for us and uh, Elaine's cooking and Lisa's doing things with me at home while I'm off bloody, she's doing stuff around the house while I'm getting stuff prepared for the, for the uh, you know. For the, yeah, I mean, look, 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 outstanding. Look, both of them are fantastic. At all the events we go to, they're always at the, well, I mean, it's us on camera, but they're in the background lining up interviews, seeing who's about, what, what, yeah, who's the next person so taking photos. Yeah, all, all that sort of stuff. He's yeah, he's looking for bakery. He's all going to the barbecue. Pick, go and buy all the stuff. Uh, so th they're the guys in the background that absolutely push the show along and, and help us uh, immensely. And it's, uh, it's, you know, we, we well, I can't thank you both enough. Yeah. Yeah. So that's our first gift of kiss, love. Well, not you, but... <laughs> And, and by the way, and uh, again, Elaine provided a beautiful meal for us tonight, so it was fantastic. But uh, along with our wonderful wives, we've got uh, some other people I think we need to, to uh, thank and to let me just get some of this off the uh, screen. There we go. Um, first of all, our two sponsors, I've already thanked them a lot tonight, Aaron from Resurgence Gear, 
and Nate from Hoblet. Uh, Hoblites. Mate, you guys have been absolutely outstanding in supporting this show. We really appreciate it. You've come on board 100% and uh, thank you once again. Um, we've got a list, as I said, a lot of people contributed to this show this year, mate. Yeah. And we'll, we'll, I'll go through some of them. So there was Annie yeah. who came on board and, 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 and unleashed her soul to us. Yeah. And showed us how to be real hikers, quite yep. frankly, early in the piece. Uh, we had Eamon come on, who showed us how unfit we were and how fit he was. I still call him the healthiest YouTuber on the planet. Um, for Colin Andrea down at Geelong Harley, who uh, have become good friends, they have, they have become friends and they have they welcomed, welcomed us in. And, and quite frankly, you, you'd be surprised if you, you think they'd had enough of bloody mate, they call us. <laughs> but uh, no, they can't get enough of us, yep. don't blame them. Uh, Chris Swanabell from Howling Wolf Tattoos, who I know how hard it was for him to uh, give us his story uh, about the loss of his brother. Thinking uh, that you guys at Christmas time really are. Uh, Chris and Katie up at Bendigo, yep. uh, they've supported us from the word go. Uh, Peter and Max Lucas, who we spoke to earlier. Uh, Ruby McGee down at um, Geelong, uh, uh, where's the... So the solicitors down here. Oh, you know, the Morris Blackburn. Morris, Morris Blackburn, sorry, yeah. who gave us all the advice on what to do if you, you quite get crunched your guy, bloody what's his name. The boys from the Aussie Vickers. Yep. How good was that, mate? And how, well, not only the weekend they put on last weekend, but when they came in with the, the studio. And uh, last but not least, a big thank you to uh, our good mates for the show, uh, Phil. Yep, Keith. Keith, who we call Keith, but uh, and Phil, man. Uh, Phil, Phil won't be watching us tonight because it's Phil it's his anniversary. Day. So uh, more yeah. likely he's either on the job or stuffing his face with food. Well, more likely stuffing his face with food <laughs> whilst he's on the job. <laughs> Good work, Phil. <laughs> and Aquaman. And Aquaman, John Aquaman, mate. We appreciate the work. Uh, you're never allowed inside the studio yes, again. Uh, and if anyone wants to know why, it's because if you go look at the video I did on the fresher ear shifter, so, yeah, two and a half hours to do a full minute bloody video because of those knuckleheads in the room. But uh, really appreciated it, guys. Um, and uh, last but not least, I'd personally like to thank Paul, mate, for uh, being silly enough to ask me to join you in this what were we thinking? What were we thinking? Who, who would have thought oh, you'd go, go for a weekend down the road, but just me and you, yeah. stuck up there? Well, I mean, well, that the girls were there. So, <laughs> you know, they got jealous. That's <laughs> no, look, honestly, I can thank you too, because, mate, it was, it was something that I, I wanted to do for a long time, and I, I did mention it to, to, to Whitey. He said, mate, I'd love to do a podcast. What do you reckon? He goes, mate, I'm on. Let's go. Let's do it. Uh, we went away for a weekend. He absolutely berated me for coming up with the name Hogs, Cogs, and Two Hogs. I thought, there's no way I'm going to call myself a fox. <laughs> and in these three, all three of them, I was outvoted. And it just to show that it's a bloody democracy, mate, I went, okay, we'll do it. And I'm going to say it was the best thing we ever did because uh, we've had some absolute fantastic times. I think the name has stuck really well. And uh, last but not least, thanks to all the flogs out there because. Quite frankly, if it wasn't for you guys, we're just talking into a camera. Yep. And, and can I also say, um, on behalf of both Waddy and I, we are so appreciative of what happened tonight with all those donations and all sort of stuff for, for, for Bikers for Bikers Dead. We couldn't thank you enough. Uh, honestly, have a great Merry Christmas. Be careful on those bloody roads out there because they are, they're, they're out there, guys. They are out to try to kill us. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we want to see you all back after. Oh, oh, we'll, we'll put in the Facebook group, we'll put the, the tally of what we ended up with. With for, for, so, uh, It starts tonight. I thought we had $450 coming in, but I think we've got about... $1,300 or oh, 1350 something. God knows. Yeah. Something like that. So, uh, and uh, I suppose last thing we could do is... Uh, so that's it from me. Yeah. That's it from me. That's it from Hogs. Cogs. And four Aussie flogs. Merry, Merry Christmas, everybody. Catch you next year. Ciao.